right, folks. God bless you guys, and welcome to This Is It, 4321, Before the Fire. <laughs> guys, I did a video. It's 30 minutes long. I'm having trouble, again, equipment and just attacks. So I'm going to keep going. I've already got it right here on this jump drive, um, but I want, I want to keep going. Guys, what I have to give you tonight is, is too overwhelming for me to even talk about. I just need to give it to you. Okay, the Lord has solved the riddle completely. It's the greatest enigma. It's the greatest. Just, it's beyond the human brain. Okay, let me just start here. Any of you guys see the movie The Da Vinci Code? Okay, I'm going to show you a little scene from it. Um, two scenes. One where they're talking about male and female. That way, because I want you guys to remember male is up and it's a triangle up and female is a triangle down. So I'll go like that. That's female energy and that's male. This represents the blade, uh, the penis, and that represents the chalice, the womb. Okay, so I want to show you those because they're going to come up again later in this video, but I just want you guys to have all of this. Okay, so if you'll bear with me and just start gathering the pieces, and guys, this is not, this is not, it's almost not humanly explainable. Just watch. It's the greatest gift there is. What is all this stuff that collects kind of in all these folders? What is all this stuff? It, did you know it's all bears witness to what I'm going to show you right now? Okay, so you ready? Let me do this. Get this out of the way. Oh, come on. Seriously. Okay, well, as soon as I did that, it messed up my thing. Here it is. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. Our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thee silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. See it? The Lady of Kingdoms. Okay, now, what I'm going to show you now is we're going to strip the entity, the female entity, that is the Queen. It's called the Queen of Heaven in Jeremiah. Um, I would call her just the queen of the pit. She's the twin female energy from the pit that started the host body system. Okay, it's Lucifer in the pit. The name of Lucifer in the pit, the accuser of the brethren, is Satan, the king of all the locusts from the pit. But think of it like this. There's a king in heaven, our father, male energy. And then in the pit, there's this 2X energy that starts the host body system, which is the natural body that comes first, as mentioned in 1 Corinthians 15. The natural body comes first, and the spiritual body comes second, and that's Christ from heaven. It says it right there in 1 Corinthians 15. Okay, now ready? Okay, let's just do do the imagery and do, do the clips. Here we go. I'm trying just to remain calm. This is so far past the human brain, you guys. Okay. Let's start with this. I just want you to see it woven into the Da Vinci Code, so watch this. Wine for wine? Yep. And one final question. How many wine glasses are there on the table? One. The Holy Grail. Open your eyes. No single cup. No chalice. Well, that's a bit strange, isn't it? Considering both the Bible and standard Grail legends celebrate this moment as the definitive arrival of the Holy Grail. Hmm. Now, Robert, you could be of help to us. If you'd be so kind as to show us the symbols for man and woman, please. Oh, no balloon animals. Huh. <laughs> I can make a great duck. This is the original icon for male. It's a rudimentary phallus. Quite to the point. Sir. Yes, indeed. This is known as the blade. It represents aggression and manhood. It's a symbol still used today in modern military uniform. Yes, the more penises you have, the higher your rank, boys will be boys. Now, as you would imagine, the female symbol is its exact opposite. This is called the chalice. And the chalice resembles a cup or vessel, or more importantly, the shape of a woman's womb. Okay, that's it. I just wanted to make sure you guys saw that clip. Okay, now I'm also going to show you the ending of um, the Da Vinci Code. 
uh, because I'm going to just, I'm going to fulfill part of this uh, prophecy from Isaiah. We're going to, we're going to strip her naked right now. And we're, we're going to pull the clothes off her, the whole female thing in the entire system, the whole understanding of the female energy that's running the system that's destroying God's angels. We're going to strip her naked during this video. It's going to be unbelievable. There you go. Now, I want you to see this, this scene for just a couple reasons. To show you that the entity that's producing every everything knows the Bible. And it's woven into all these movies, the band names like Aerosmith. Why did Aerosmith name their band Aero? Smith, arrow relating to of the sky. Smith, you make it different. You forge it into something else. Arrow Smith, get it? Who's the arrow Smith? Well, I'm stripping her naked, that entity from the pit. Arrow Smith, they're sold out to her. What about Alice in Chains? What an interesting name for Ben. Why Alice? Was it his girlfriend? Alice in Chains. The word Alice is of nobility, of royalty, God's princes, in chains, in those bodies. You know, it's just, what it, Head East. There's a band back when I was young called Head East. Why would you name a band Head East? Did you know your plant, when you die, they put your heads facing west? Head East would be the other way, like up as opposed to down. It's, it's beyond the human brain, what you're going to see. Okay, here we go. Let's do this clip real quick. And then right after the clip, we're going straight to the scriptures, directly to the scriptures, and then directly to confirming witnesses, which is the imagery matching the scriptures. It's unbelievable. It's literally going to be unbelievable. Here we go. Okay, look how this makes a blade. They, they purposely edited that in to be like a blade, like a sword. See it? Sacred Feminine. Bloodline. See that Arago? I'll show it to you later. There's uh, 135 of them on the on the ley line in um, Paris. Runs from north to south, no different than north. To, no, no different than up and down, north and south, up down. Here we go. Okay, there's one of the medallions on the ground. If you go look at what these are, Arago, that's in the folder, um, and it's just beyond your brain what's actually hidden in this movie. See how I turned it upside down? Did you say? It, did you see that it was north and south, and it was on the ground? He looked down and it rotated it north and south. When you turn everything the opposite direction, like I've been showing you, 100% no line. So he's walking on the rose line. He's, it's uh, the meridian to find the, the point of equality in the dead center of the meridian line, meridian. And so he's walking that to see where it goes. And it goes to the, the pyramid that's uh, the museum. Again, this couldn't have been done by a human. A spiritual being had to make what you're looking at. And there were little signposts along the way as I watched it. I was like, there's no way. Like, you know, Detective Spooner's badge, 4084, I apprehend catch and arrest. That's not even possible. The same thing is going on here. I'll show it to you at some point while we're doing this, but let's watch the rest. Watch. Holy 
holy grail beneath ancient Roslyn waits. Adorned in master's loving art, she lies. Okay, you notice that he could see his reflection. The blade and chalice guarding o'er her gates. The blade and chalice guarding our gates. Now, did you see what was in there? There was a right side up and upside down triangle coming to a point to where they touch. Just like I keep telling you. There's a good you and there's a bad you. There's a double you. Now watch. And then I'll show you what's in the folders. Here we go. The point, it, see the circle right there in the middle? The point in which they meet? Remember, we're talking about the male and the female. The energy from heaven, the energy from the pit, the point they meet at for battle is within us and the earth. Watch. She rests at last beneath starry skies. the key where they meet. Okay, so I'm going to just leave it at that. So I wanted you guys just to see that the sacred feminine was down beneath that pyramid in a secret chamber. They've been hiding whatever, Mary Magdalene's bones or whatever. But the point I'm trying to make to you is that the discovery of the whole thing was to discover the meridian, the center point. Like I've been showing you, the new... The most recent thing that the Lord God has shown me is to put Lucifer sitting in the chair in St. Peter's, and he took me to Ezekiel 28 to prove it. Jonathan, in Ezekiel 28, thou hast said, I am El, the Almighty God, thou, although thou sit in the seat of Elohim. Because see, Lucifer sits in the seat of all the angels. He sits in the seat of, of Elohim. But it says, but thou art a man, thou art not El. Now watch this. When we get converted, Lucifer is in the center of us. He's the flesh. We want to do the deeds of the flesh. Until you get converted, you're still in the flesh. You cannot please God in the flesh. So you have to be born again from a superhuman angel demon spirit, which is what the Bible says right here. Superhuman angel demon. Ephesians 2 verse 2 it says where in times past you walked according to the prince of the power of the air the spirit that works in the children of disobedience spirit I'll say it again is pneuma and it means superhuman an angel comma demon see superhuman in parentheses that's the spirit you have 
before you get saved. That's the spirit that works in the children of disobedience. That is the superhuman angel demon spirit of Lucifer that's running you. Lucifer, Satan, call what you want. Superhuman angel demon. Who's the one that benefits off that? The one in the pit. He benefits off the duality. So cleanse your heart, you double-minded. So when you turn back to the Lord God and you admit your guilt and you pray to the Lord God and ask for forgiveness and you're willing to surrender your temple to him, then he cuts the cord to the pit, you get inverted. And the word converted means to turn quite around. And he stands in the midst of you and Satan gets kicked out. It's no longer his seat inside of you. And when it's called the resurrection, the standing up inside of you, but still the Lord's coming to gather everything that he's bought back during the course of the entire history of the world. Now watch this. This is phenomenal. Watch. Okay, so he's the spirit. Satan is the spirit that worketh in the children of disobedience. Says it right here, superhuman, an angel, comma, demon. And then when you get reborn, so as you get reborn, you become divine, which means you are born into eternal life. Divine, God, Christ, Holy Spirit. There it is. Now watch. In Isaiah 47, and this is where the Lord took me to show me that the whole thing, listen, the whole thing, all these images, all these scriptures, everything the Lord's been having me do, showing you guys the duality of the system, was to uncover her. Because the whole thing has been to uncover the, this entity that's destroying all God's angels. The, you know, the Catholic Church is, a, what, it's a big snake? And in the mouth of the snake is a vagina? What? Yes. And it's a dead sheep? Well, I'm the guy that people have drawn pictures of and said, hey, I drew a picture of you, Johnny. And they did. They drew a picture of me, but they hid a dead sheep right behind my ear. Why would someone draw a picture of me and put a dead sheep hidden right behind my ear? It's not the first time it's happened either. It's happened repetitively. Well, because it's an agenda of an entity that's hunting me. But the, the entity is female energy hunting the male energy within the system. I didn't say genitalia. I said energy. So that entity from the pit knows if you've got, if you're a, a angel demon, it knows that there's an angel in you to destroy. A lot of people have sold out fully to Satan and they're double downers. So they're already fully attached. Those of us that have been converted, we've been converted and we've been sealed until the day of redemption. But we're going to take off the veil off her now. That's what all this has been about. All this, why is the virgin a dead sheep? Why do they worship the virgin? Well, Parthenogenesis, virgin Genesis. Here we go, ready? Take the millstones and grind meal. Uncover thy locks. Now watch this. Uncover, it means to denude, especially in a disgraceful sense, by implication, exile, to reveal, to discover. Uncover thy locks to fasten on veil locks okay so uncover thy locks make bare to strip off to make naked in a disgraceful way make bare uncover the thigh pass over the rivers thy nakedness shall be uncovered look especially the pudenda have you listen have you guys any of y'all seen the special what is a woman if you haven't seen it, you got to go watch it. Matt Walsh, What is a Woman? It's worth every penny. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. No one could even say in the special what a woman was. It was crazy. To denude. To denude. Just like they did us. Thy shame shall be seen. And I will take vengeance. Look. Vengeance. Now, I find this absolutely insane. Because for those of y'all that know me and the Lord had me do a get together in Grand Junction, Colorado, I was told specifically what to do, have a parachute made that said V for vengeance and skydive into this group. I didn't want to do it at all. As a matter of fact, I was like, really, I don't want to be, I don't want to, I didn't want to do it. He told me he wanted me to do it. It was important. So I, uh, it wasn't 
anyway, without getting into the whole thing, I did what he said. Now I understand completely why. The V for vengeance was a right side up V that said for vengeance one way, and then you invert it, and it was a V upside down that said vengeance the other way, making a big red X. For those of y'all that have been here, you know the, the logo I'm talking about. While we're doing this, I'll try and pop it up. Okay, here we go. Thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. Wow. As for our Redeemer, the, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel, sacred, ceremonially, or morally, God by eminence, an angel. Okay? Sit thou silent, and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the lady, uh, it means the mistress, but look at this, the mistress, the Lord of kingdoms, dominion, rule. I mean, that's pretty, pretty wild. So you will no longer be called the lady of kingdoms. And it says, and thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, and and so that none didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst thou remember the latter end of it. Uh, any of you guys see I Pet Goat, where the old lady's trapped in the tower that's in the shape of a penis, and she's trying to weave like a magic spell with her wand, and she backs up and it shows her panties, and she's like on her period, but it makes a keyhole with the blood stain, and it dries up, letting... Everybody know that her system is drying up of energy. That's what's so crazy. Here we go. Now, thou didst not lay it to heart, neither didst thou remember the latter end of it. And we're at the latter end of it right now. Here's a prophecy from Revelations. Therefore, hear this. Thou art given to pleasures that dwellest carelessly, that sayest in thine heart, I am. Look, female saying, I am. M. See it? Female energy. I am and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall the I know the loss of children. But these two things shall come upon thee in one day, the loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon thee in their perfection, because it's written in Revelation the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. Look, look at what this is. The multitude, the abundance of thy sorceries is not what people thought. To whisper a magic spell, see it, enchant or practice magic. That's what the multitude of thy sorceries were. Do you know where that comes from? Genesis 3, the serpent, Nakash. To whisper a magic spell. That's what the word Nakash means. And the great abundance of thine enchantments. The powerfulness, numerousness. Ready? Hence the body. See it? The body of thine enchantments. Society. All of society. To join by means of spells to fascinate to couple together for thou hast trusted put confidence to hide for refuge thou hast put confidence thou hast trusted in thy wickedness evil thou hast said ready none seeth me thy wisdom and knowledge is hath perverted thee and thou hast said in thine heart, I am. See? Y'all remember Ariana Grande? I am uh, God is a woman? This is it. That It's the energy that's taking over the entire system right now. You can see it. All this, you know, uh, LGBTQ2S2 spirit, it's taking over everything. It's her from the pit taking over the system. And now the Lord is using me to expose her. I will not meet you as a man. It's a spiritual revelation of the word of God by using everything that's in front of us, in front of us all day, every day. And it's hidden in plain sight everywhere in everything all the time. That's what all these folders are. 
<laughs> it's like so crazy. I went and saw Mission Impossible. You can never even understand the new Mission Impossible movie unless you understood what Sephestopol stands for. About a gallant last stand and how many people were involved in it. <laughs> for those people that have got it, I gotta know. Okay, here we go. So, what's the Lord God going to do? Stand now with thine enchantments and the multitude of thy sorceries, because the Lord is going to take vengeance with the fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. Who am I? In the, I told you the Lord told me, you're the before the fire guy. Like Noah was before the water. The night I got saved, I knew there was a fire coming to destroy everything. And the Lord told me I had to warn everybody or I would be personally responsible for not warning them to turn from your sins. Your down is, is the direction. Down is the energy that seeks to destroy every angel that's up. Angels in the sky, down in the pit, locusts. How do you get there? Host body system bred. We get bred into the system. We took the forbidden fruit. We ended up in a host body. And now that host body is destroying us because it's a transmutation device. Just like it says in Genesis, let us create man in our image. Vain show. Illusion. That's what the word image means. It means an illusion. Because it is. <laughs> it's the greatest illusion. Now all I have to do is start opening the folders now and showing you guys all the pictures. It's time just to go through pictures and scriptures now. And see, just like the movie Da Vinci Code, male and female. And what's he do? He find, He's like looking for the Holy Grail. Well, I'm here to tell you, the Lord showed me this is the Holy Grail. This is the understanding of eternal life. This is how you know that you know that you have eternal life. Yes, here we go. So this is just, now this goes along with the Da Vinci Code. Now I showed you the Da Vinci Code. This is going to pop in and out during the course of this. Watch this. Okay, in 1 John chapter 2, verse 3, And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Uh, now, in the video that didn't make it up yet uh, because there was a problem, um, I showed you guys, a lot of people misuse this in churches. They said, oh, so you're supposed to keep his commandments. No, you're not. Ready? This is what it's talking about. Yes. The, watch this. And hereby we do know that we know him. The word know is hinosko. It means to know absolutely. And the word commandments means denoting fixed position medially. See it right here? Denoting a fixed position medially by keeping his commandments. Do you know what the word commandments means? Injunction. <laughs> if people think, oh, yo, you're supposed to keep this rule. No. If the sun sets you free, you're free indeed. You've cut the cord to the pit, to the female energy. The same can't attach himself to you. He's ma Satan's masquerading in the host body system as a big puppet show. And the entity that's twin female energy, the queen, as you want to call her, we're going to, we're going to make her naked and what she's really doing. She's really murdering angels. It's a serial killer murdering angels through the host body system. That's what this all is. Watch. It's easy to prove now. Ready? We do know that we know him, okay? Though if we keep his commandments, see the word commandments, First John 2, 3. I want you to make sure you see the word know. It's, there's several different uh, words they use for the word to know, and this is very specific. It's called kinosco, like in Spanish, to know absolutely. So, and hereby we know absolutely that we absolutely Know him if we keep his commandments. The word commandment says injunction. That is an authoritative prescription to enjoin. Ready? So Lucifer is sitting in the seat of Elohim, which is all of us. He's in the center of everyone. 
Why do you think we have to be born again of the spirit? Because Lucifer sits in the middle of a superhuman angel demon. Lucifer's in the middle of that. Tells you right there in Ezekiel. Tells you also in Isaiah 14. So Lucifer is in the midst of everybody. But then when you turn back to the Lord God and admit your guilt and you ask for forgiveness and you invite him to take over your, your temple, then the enemy gets kicked out and you get converted, turned quite around, and you're made whole again. That, and so inside of you, you've got the Holy Spirit, which means you're sealed until the day of redemption. So then you're waiting for the second coming of Christ. You've received him inside of you. You've been converted, but there's still a coming to call away his church. Watch. And hereby we do know, we know absolutely, Hinosko, that we absolutely know him if we keep his commandments to enjoin, to look, to give charge because you turn over ownership to him and look at the root of it, denoting a fixed position in place, time, or state, medially, medially, in the middle of. So now, instead of Lucifer sitting in the seat of all of Elohim, which is the entire population, which I've showed you, which we're going to look at again. So Lucifer is in the seat of the entire population in the form of female energy. And then when you get turned back to the Lord, your eyes become single and the whole body's full of light, not light and darkness. Ready? Now watch this. It says it right here. So here you go. And we know that we know him if we keep his commandments, denoting fixed position in time, place, time, or state, medially. Okay, ready? Let's go back to Ezekiel 28. Thus said the Lord God, because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am El. See, so Lucifer's saying he's El, the Almighty God from heaven, right here. Thou hast said, I'm El, right here. See, it says El, Hebrew word. 410, right here, L. I sit in the seat of Elohim. See it? Look, I sit in the seat of, see the word for God right here? It's not L, it's Elohim. I sit in the seat of Elohim. Watch. I sit to sit down specifically as a judge in ambush in quiet. It also means to settle and to marry. It also means lurking. Just like lurking class clothing. I sit in the seat, the population, assembly, dwelling place, inhabited place, sojourning. I sit in the seat of Elohim, the gods that are of the supreme God, angels. I sit in the seat of all the angels in the midst, in the center, the heart of the seas meaning to roy, noisiness, like all of humanity. Yet thou art a man, and not El, the Almighty God. Though thy set thine heart, thine heart, as the center of anything, as the heart of Elohim. Now do you understand, I'm going to show you the pictures of the Vatican, which is the serpent. Who's the serpent? That great dragon? The dragon? was cast out, that serpent called the devil and Satan. Who was cast out? Lucifer and his angels? Yeah. Watch this. <laughs> okay. Okay, remember the Da Vinci Code? He's like, there's the male, and then the female is that right there. So you have right side up, upside down triangles. A guy named Jolly Cleck has been showing that to you for a long time let's put everything in a super cool perspective let's do it just like uh the altar so let's put here he is there's lucifer sitting in the seat of elohim these are the elohim those are angels magistrates gods there they are and they're coming in lucifer's the light bearer what is light bearer? he brings the light brings the elohim with him the source to destroy. And now once you get in a host body, you're attached to the pit because the host body has an eye that goes to the pit. That's a worm feeding off you. 
I will restore the locust, the year the locusts have eaten and the canker worm. So here he sits in the seat of Elohim, which is male and female. Okay, now watch. Let's just do it all in images. Ready? Uh, I'll show you a quick scripture and then we'll do pictures. Isaiah 47, verse 3, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, okay, to avenge or punish, and I will not meet thee as a man. Okay, ready? So here we go. Let's take a look at the imagery. There's, we put Lucifer sitting on the seat of St. Peter's uh, chair. What's, what's the thing about the whole Vatican? It's an upside-down cross, isn't it? The whole building is an upside-down cross. And the, nut, the tip of the cross becomes the mouth of the serpent. That's where Lucifer is sitting, right here. That's his seat. He sits in the seat of Elohim. Here's a, an image of the virgin. So, female energy, male energy. Female destroys male. See, female, virgin, destroys male. All you have to do is fold it, and you see, or invert it, and you see what it really is. Okay, here we go. Let's just... We're just going to, like, rake through all these. Watch. I say this, and walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. They are contrary one to the other. So you cannot do the things you would. So, see, when if you're not converted, that's why you do stuff. You're like, why did I do that? I would question myself before I got converted. There's a lot of things I ended up doing. I was like, I cannot believe that I would do, you know, some of the antics I pulled. But it's because we're being run by something that's in the midst of us. Until you get converted, you don't, you're not really, you're not, you may think you're in control, but you're not. You're being controlled by another source. Okay, here we go. Uh, here's the Rio Olympic Stadium. Uh, I don't know if anyone's typed that into Google, you can just type in Rio Olympic Stadium. Right here was like an, a sun. It was like this perpetual flame that uh, Tom Brady's wife went and lit. Let me show you what it was. It was absolutely crazy. And it represents the source of desire. And it's right on that other image where it's supposed to be as the source of desire. Look how it makes like a six and a nine. See it? See how they... Well, I guess it would be a backward six of the nine. See the emanating light from it? There you go. Okay, that was the Rio Olympics. Okay, now, here we go. For those of y'all that, you know, haven't seen it, I'll show it to you one time real quick. There's the face of a sheep, and right above it is the altar we are looking at, the altar of St. Peter. It's a dead sheep. We're going to do this very pragmatically now. Here's a simple... Uh, way of understanding it. This is a tattoo on this guy's back. The whole thing is the head of a sheep. There's the eye of the sheep. This is the ear of the sheep. There's the nostril of the sheep. There's the line in the mouth of the sheep. There's the bottom jaw. So this is the head of a sheep, but it's an it's an angel that's yoked to a demon, which is exactly what the Bible says. You've been yoked. You've been um, held prisoner in prison houses. It means yoked to your enemy. Here it is. Look. So here's an angel. And he's yoked to a demon. And then look who's looking up from the pit. Who gets the energy from that system. That's why he's looking up from the pit. Now I turn the whole thing up. Well, I thought I turned it upside down. If you turn this thing upside down, these, uh, these become the eyes. Eye, eye, and this is the mouth. And it's sucking out the energy from the angel and the demon. That's the worm that never dies. And here is a Van Halen album cover called Balance which is absolutely identical to the tattoo. Superhuman angel demon. Superhuman angel demon. They're identical. Okay, here we go. Okay, now you're going to get the understanding of the entire picture. You, this is more valuable than all the money in the world. This is more valuable than anything. There's nothing that you could give to get what's being given to you right now. There's no amount of money. There's nothing you could give to get this. It's a gift. This is a free gift. Okay, this is our condition. This this represents you in the middle as Barabbas. 
But see, when you put Jesus on that cross and Jesus takes the cross instead of you, because that cross really belongs to you. That's why there was a guy named Bar Abbas. Bar Abbas means son of the father. And it says he lay bound with them that had committed insurrection. So son of the father lay bound with them that had committed insurrection. So let, who sits in the midst of you until you get converted? So before you get converted, this is you right here. This is your condition. You have an angel and a demon in opposition to each other. And this is your, this is an altar that was made to represent it. You have male, a, a male penis behind Lucifer. The chair of St. Peter is a penis. And when you turn it upside down, it's a vagina. So he's in the midst of you. So there is a female energy going down. There is a male energy going up. One of your eyes goes to heaven. One goes to the pit. And that is a representation of it. So you know that the Bible says that great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan. So here is Satan sitting in the chair of Satan and Lucifer. They are synonymous for each other in a way. It's different parts of the same job, basically. He brings brought the light to the system. They go to the pit, and they are destroyed in the pit. Satan is the angel of the bottomless pit. So here is Satan sitting there on the male and female reproductive systems. Let me just show you a picture that just, I think, spells that out. Here you go, right here. So here's the devil tarot card. See the devil tarot card? There's a male and there's a female, and they're both chained to the seat that Satan is sitting on. See it? So that's the devil tarot card. We put it all along the base. Now let's look at this altar. So it's a big, the whole thing's a dead sheep. But in the center, you have your enemy that runs the male, right? So here's here's the penis right here, and you invert this, and it's female, male and female. He runs the duplicitous system. He runs the flesh. He Lucifer is the anointed cherub that covereth. It says entwines with flesh. He said in Ezekiel, I will, I will exalt my throne above the stars of El, the almighty God. The word stars is princes and the word throne is flesh. I will exalt my flesh throne above the stars of El. Because see, we come in as a star into the flesh and he's destroying us with a worm in the pit that goes to your eye that follows you everywhere you go. And when you die, if you don't get converted, you go to the pit and you are fed to a, a worm, a locust from the pit. Job 25. Okay, so here we go. Look, oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Hang on one sec. Job 25. How then can man be justified with El, the Almighty God? See, it's El. How can then man be justified with El, the Almighty God? Or how can he be clean that is born of a woman? So you got to know that something's obviously seriously wrong with the system when if you thought, you know, in Genesis 1, oh, that's the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us make man in our image. No, it's not. Um, unless you think uh, the word image uh, for Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost goes along with being a representative figure, especially an idol. That doesn't make any sense. So the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit wouldn't be an idol and you wouldn't need to be reborn and you wouldn't need to be fixed and you wouldn't be born under total condemnation. You're born into a system that you're under condemnation. Why? I mean, if you're made in the uh, image of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, it doesn't make any sense. But if you're born in the image of Elohim, which is a host body system walking around up top attached to a, a bunch of insects in the pit that have a ruler over them that you can't see like the ghost in the machine that's hunting you your entire life and you just didn't even know it but then you discover it and then you discover that you first you get saved then you're able to see then you're able to show other people the vatican's a snake a virgin's a dead sheep the whole dead sheep is male and female reproductive systems what's going on we are making her naked what she really is what is a woman well it's 
the most serious killing machine that you can even imagine. The female energy from the pit is the destroying angel. Read Revelation. Revelation 9. Why do you think they bombed the Twin Towers? Twin Towers. Oh, so obvious now. Okay, ready? How can man be justified with God that is... How can he be clean that is born of a woman? Ready? Behold, even the moon and it shineth not. Yea, the stars. Look, the stars. The princes. The princes are not pure. Clean morally or physically. or Like morally or physically. See it? A star can't be clean physically or morally because the word star means a prince right here. So even the stars are not pure in his sight, in his ayin, his eye. How much less man that is a worm, there it is, in the sense of breeding, like a maggot, as in rapidly bred, ready to rise, literally exalt oneself, get up out. Mount up because the worms that Lucifer is using to feed off everybody in the pit, when you go to the pit, they're going to mount up and come out of the pit. That's Lucifer coming out of the pit. That's how he's going to come out of the pit, in the form of locusts. <laughs> That's it. Oh, uh -huh, locusts from the pit. How much less man that is a worm and the son of man, which is a worm. It's a different word. It says, a maggot as voracious. And then the root of the word means to blurt or utter inconsiderately devour. Uh, that's why it says don't backbite each other. You'll find out you're devouring yourself. Okay, now I'm just going to slow down and just calm down. This is, this is past the human brain now. Ready? Here we go. Let's go to the imagery. Okay, so here we have a perfect image of understanding what it means Though thou sittest in, you say, I sit in the seat of Elohim. Watch. Let's just do some images right now. Let's just get this under our, our belt. Okay, ready? Here's a chart. Up and then down. The word ana is up in Greek. Kata is down in Greek. Jesus is up. See the red triangle? Up. Satan is down. Ready? Jesus is up. Satan is down. Jesus is up. Satan is down. Male energy, female energy. Male is up, females down. Do you understand? Okay. Light is up, dark is down, good is up, evil is down, heaven is up, hell is down. Here's a male, a five-pointed star, and when you turn a five-pointed star upside down, it becomes the Mindy's goat. And then when you put a serpent around the two, it's the Ouroboros. Okay, now... Now let's just do this one. Ready? Let's do male and female. Ready? So here is Baphomet sitting on the sitting on the chair of St. Peter, and it's right side up. It's a penis, and you fold it upside down, and it's the female reproductive system. So that's what sitting in the seat of Elohim is. I sit in the seat of Elohim. Here's all the Elohim. He sits in the seat. <laughs> it's so crazy. Okay, now let me show you some other pictures. Let's do this with eyes and let's do it with, uh, here we go. Let's do it with the scriptures. So we have all the scriptures behind us. Ready? Isaiah 14, verse 17. Of course, my connection was interrupted. Okay, so, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of El. They'll say, is, that, is this him that made the world a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the house of the, the word prisoners, see prisoners, to yoke or to hitch, to join in battle. So the word prisoners in Isaiah 14, verse 17 the word prisoner means to yoke or to hitch in battle. Just like a set of twins. That's what the whole battle is. And the flesh is the sacred feminine that owns the flesh. And you gotta buy, it's got to be bought back. Your soul has to be bought back for the time that you were in that flesh. Because the flesh is owned. 
by her. That's it. Okay, so Isaiah 42, 22, but this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes. They are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and none delivereth for and none delivereth for a spoil and none say restore. So they are hid in prison houses. See it 3608? In the sense of separation, two heterogeneities, diverse seeds mingled seed what's your prison house says it right here what is your prison house says it right there a mingled seed angel and a demon mingled together male and female energy within the host body system mingled seed there it is that's the prison house that we're in so right here isaiah 42 22 this is a people robbed it means to catch and gather as prey, spoiled, uh, to plunder and destroy and rob. All of them are snared in holes. They are hid in prison houses, prison houses, separation, two heterogeneities, diverse seeds, mingled seed, right there. So what is our prison house? A mingled seed. Angel and a demon. It's exactly everything I've been telling you. Now, let's go look at some more pictures. Watch. So, Van Halen, mingled seed. Hid, hidden prison houses, mingled seed. Watch this. Let's do, uh, let's do this. Matthew 6, 22. The, the eye is the lamp of the body. So, if your eye is healthy, if your eye be single, your whole body will be full of light. See right here? Here's one eye. See the reflection of Jesus in it? I got it going up. Male. Here's the other eye to the bottomless pit. Going down. Female. But if your eye is bad, the whole body will be full of darkness. If, the, if then the light in you be darkness, how great is the darkness. So this is your situation before you get saved. Who's sitting in the seat of you right there? Lucifer. You sit in the seat of Elohim because he owns this system. He owns the right side up, upside down system. That's what he owns. It's the flesh. He owns it. Then you get converted and you're born of the spirit. Okay, let's look at another image. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay, so uh, light and darkness. Just got just another way of perceiving it. Let me uh, Let me show you this one. Okay, so the eye is the lamp of the body. So if your eye be single, see right here, if your eye be single, the whole body is full of light. But right here, look, there's one eye that's up with light. And then here's the other one that goes to the pit. That's darkness. So just think of these as consciousnesses, spiritual beings. One eye goes to the pit, to a worm. Then the leader of all the worms, the leader of all the locusts, is Satan. So he remotely views through everyone in the world at the same time, all the time, the entity, always calculating the outcome of whatever he's trying to do. And then in the other eye goes to heaven to a star, night under the stars guy. There we are the stars in the sky. We're the angels. We're the princes. We are the stars. Who's our boss? El, the almighty God. And then El, the almighty God comes into the system as Emmanuel, with us is El, the Almighty God. That's what Emmanuel means. Emmanuel means with us is El. Not with us is Elohim. With us is El, the Almighty God. Because he left heaven and was born into a host body named Jesus. And he dies for our sins on a cross. So we can stand up again, the standing up again inside of us. And then Jesus takes over the sinner position inside of you and you get converted. not arguable. This is perfection in information, you guys. This is absolute perfection. So look, so if the eye is single, your whole body is full of light. But the, look right here, the eye's not single in this one. So you have one going down to the darkness. So you have the connection to the pit. You have the connection to Satan. You have your own worm looking through you. And then you have the connection to heaven. 
You have God, El, the Almighty God, looking through your other eye. You need to swap out the guy that's in the middle, and then he'll convert your eye that's dark to up, and then both eyes will be up, and your whole body will be full of light. Right here, watch. So here's what happens when you get converted. The eye is the lamp of the body, so if your eye be single, your whole body will be full of light. So see, you went from one up, one down, to two eyes that are up. And now you're sealed until the day of redemption. So see the magnet thing? This was you. There was a chasm. You couldn't do it. But then you made an honest profession. You told the truth. You came clean. You admitted all your guilt before the Lord God. You asked for forgiveness. And then you said, I surrender and just kick out the demon. And Jesus, you take over. Ready? Turn it upside down. And it flips and joins everything together. And then you're sealed to the day of redemption. Okay, now this pictorial stuff is what the Lord told me to do to show you guys how simple it is, and it plays out in everything. Okay, so now let's take a look at this. Now let's look at this again. So let's look at these big columns in the Vatican that are the canopy. Well, what's the canopy? In, Ezekiel, in, in Isaiah 14, the canopy represents the flesh. So we'll go to Isaiah 14. Here it is. I will exalt my throne. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the princes of... See, it's always El, the Almighty God. When it comes to Lucifer trying to take over, you never, ever, ever see the word, oh, I'm trying to take over Elohim. So that should be as just obvious as it gets. So here it is. I will exalt my throne above the stars of El, because look, El is the Almighty God. What's the throne? Okay, here's the word throne. Throne as canopy. Okay, watch this. What is this? What's this thing in the Vatican? It's got four posts and makes a canopy. What's on the base right there? What is that? That's the head of a locust coming up from the pit. What's this? This is the mouth of a dragon wide open right here. There's the dragon's eye and his other eye, and there's two X's right here, and there's two X's right here, and there's a guy right here in a slave collar that's the nose of the dragon. And we can look at that up close in just a minute. So this is the queen's system, the queen. She is the one that's birthing the locust from the pit. It's twin female energy. And if you look right here at the dragon with its mouth wide open, now let's just look at that as a female wearing a bonnet. There's her eye, her eye, and her mouth. Eye, eye, mouth. And then there's a locust, because she is the, the queen of the locust. And then it's a dragon with its mouth wide open. So there it is. She owns the flesh. The twin female parthenogenesis, virgin genesis, owns the flesh, and it's Lucifer's deal. And it's his way to get back at God to take try and take over. And it's a forbidden fruit because look where it leads to. If you go to the host body system, look at what I'm showing you. Can you imagine that kind of thing? What it might do to God's kingdom if you participate in what I'm showing you? It's like you're part of a murderous, cannibalistic system now. And you chose to be. You're a murderer. We're all murderers. Yes. See it? Dragon. Locust, queen, <laughs> busted. So the Lord says in Isaiah, I'm going to make her naked. What do you think I'm doing right now? I'm making her naked. She's the source of the locust from the pit. There's the locust. There's the dragon with its mouth wide open. Okay, she the virgin. That's why they worship the virgin. Okay, now let's do Isaiah 25. Ready? And he shall spread forth his hands in the midst of them, as he that swimmeth spreadeth forth his hands to swim. And he shall bring down their pride together with the spoils of their hands. Look at the word. Look at the word spoils. To lurk, to lie in ambush. To lie in ambush. 
Isaiah 25, 11. So the word spoils is to wait, to lie in wait, in ambuscade din, lie in wait, inside of a den, to lurk. Look, to lurk, lie in ambush, to lie in wait, inside of you, attached to the pit, everywhere you go, because the second you die, it's like, we got you. That's what this is all about. Got him. Got her. Isn't it, guys? Listen, now let's just talk. I just think about this. Okay. You see back there in the corner, the skydiving picture upside down, where I'm falling out of the sky upside down. And then the next one, I look like I'm crucified because I was training. I was, my, my whole thing at that, reason for being at that time was sunglasses and to train for the X Games sky surfing. I was like, I'm going to be number one in the world no matter what. I don't care if I die trying, that's what I'm doing. And that's what I was doing. And then I got to be in the X Games for real. I mean, do you understand the whole world is the X Games? <laughs> the whole thing's the X Games. <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> oh my God, this is insane. And the fortress of the high fort of thy walls shall he bring down to bend, to bow down and bring to the ground, even to the dust. Okay, let me show you a scripture that's going to blow your mind. Now, remember, I've told you, like, the drink 7-Up, as hard as you may not be able to accept this, it's true. The word 7-Up, the number 7, is destroy in the Bible. The drink 7-Up means to destroy up. I know it's almost like, how could you even believe that? That's that's exactly what it means, to destroy up. Okay, let me show you what it says in, I think, first John. Anyway. Okay, check out Luke 19, guys. Check it out. And they said unto him, Lord, he hath ten pounds. For I say to you that everyone which hath shall be given. And from him that hath not, even that which he hath shall be taken away from him. But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring them hither and slay them before me. So right here, talking about, you know, either good servants that you went out and did what you were supposed to do with the talent the Lord gave you, which is what I'm trying to do. And I've been trying to do since I got saved back in 2002 to be faithful to what the Lord had given to me. So when he comes, I can say, this is, I tried to do my best. This is what I did. That's it. Here's, I want every, I, my heart is, I don't want anyone not to get saved. I don't want anyone not to have all their needs met, their needs, not their wants, their needs. That's my heart. I don't care who it is. I don't even care about my enemies that have been so hateful to me. I would reach over a cliff to try and save them. I would. Um, but watch this. We're up. We're from above. They're from beneath. There's two different races going on here. Okay, watch this. Ready? But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them. Look at the word enemies. To hate odious, actively hostile, an adversary, especially an enemy or a foe, saying, so those that would not that I should reign over them, bring them hither and slay them before me. Look at this. Look at the word slay. To kill down. So I'm going to highlight this one color and so you can see that it's all together to kill down, and it's from kata, right here, kata is down, and then svato, kata svato, to butcher, to slaughter, and slay them before me, to kill down. Just stop and think about that. Everything I've been telling you is that the ones that are down are killing those of us that are up inside of you.
That was the thing to figure out. And the boundary is the earth. And once you go to the other side, there's no coming back. So I just want you to take a look at this. So bring them hither and slay them, kill down before me. And we had, when he had thus spoken, he went before ascending up to Jerusalem. Just look at the way that's written. Just look at the way it's written. And when he had thus spoken, he, so when he had said this, when he had thus spoken, he went before ascending up to Jerusalem. It's all cryptic, guys, the whole thing. And it's all between up and down, east and west, on the right or the left. Okay, now I'm just going to try and calm down. So Lucifer, thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne, my flesh, as in covered with flesh, and to fill up the hollows. Filling up the hollows means like in the pit, there is like a picture, like a wasp nest that just keeps going and going and going and going. And there's hexagons everywhere. And in the middle of that hexagon is a worm that goes to everyone's eye. That's what it is. That's what it means to fill up the hollows. So now I'd like to make that real for your mind. And I want to play a little clip from uh, this Hornet video that the Lord led me to a long time ago. To give you a mental image, I want to play a dating commercial from 2020 dating where there's Everything I've shown you on these altars is in these commercials, guys. <laughs> it's insane. See, we're discovering her hiding place is the whole thing. The whole forest, she's in it. That's the thing. And now the Lord's using me to make her naked. He will discover her hiding place. She is counted on her wickedness. But the Lord's used me to uncover the whole thing. Let me show you that scripture one time. I think everybody should read all of Isaiah 47. It's just so insane. Okay, take the millstones and grind meal. Uncover. So to denude, especially in a disgraceful sense, by implication to exile, to reveal, to disclose, make public, uncover thy locks, to fasten on a veil locks. And so we're fastened together with them. And that's what I've been showing you. That's what all this is. Uncover thy locks and make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Okay, here we go. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered and thy shame shall be seen. Okay, let me just show you exactly what that is in a nutshell. So let me show you in a nutshell what that is. I'm, I'm uncovering her right now. That's what she is. This is what she is. She's doing this. She's birthing a race of locusts from the pit. That's what she's doing. Um, here is a manifestation of like a prom dress. I put those straps on just for kicks and grins, but I'll go like that so you can see. That's uh, that's the face of an insect. There's the eye. There's the eye. Those are mandibles like, like a bee. See, it? that's for sure an insect. Zero doubt. So I will un uncover thy nakedness. Uh, here's a $20 silver piece from Canada. So that's an insect action. It's reflection is human. I'm uncovering her nakedness. The whole female thing was one big ass trap. The whole thing was a big trap. Here you go. Uncover her nakedness. Okay. That, that eye that goes down is a reptile and it's female and it's crunching down on the sheep. See? So there's the reptilian, which is the female thing. So the serpent got news for you. So what kind of energy is running the serpent? I'm not talking about genitalia. I'm talking about energy. Twin female energy from the pit is running the puppet show that you call male and female. That's what's running it. So that's a reptile, like a raptor. The word raptor, did you know the word raptor, before they changed it in the dictionary, it meant a thief and a plunderer and a rapist? Raptor means thief, plunderer, and rapist. Raptor. Mm -hmm. And that's that source so see, so Cain was a child of that 
and Abel was a child of Adam. You get it? Cain and Abel. Cainable. There's a perfect example of it. Here you go. So Cain was of the evil one. Abel was uh, from the Adamic line from Christ. And then one destroys the other. Now watch. You see, you see this Da Vinci code? See the A and the V? Okay, watch. That's just exactly what the Cain and Abel thing is. See it? See, so I'm going to slide down Cain and Abel. Da Vinci code. Now you know. See, there's the triangle going down for Cain and the one going up for Abel. So the Da Vinci code. Now you know exactly what it is. Now let me show you this insane image right here. There's the top of the Vatican. That's an that's the eye of an angel. There's 32 eight-pointed stars right here. This is a, the whole thing is an eye. Okay, here is the canopy. See the the four legs going up the canopy. Okay, that represents the flesh. What's down here on the floor? See that big circle? Let's see. See the big circle? That's the eye of the serpent. So the eye of the serpent. And the eye of the angel from above. So that represents the eye from heaven right there. And then here represents the eye from the pit, the serpent. And what's in between? The canopy. And what's under the canopy? The dove. And then look at what you're looking at right here. This is all the angels coming into the system. And Lucifer, the light bearer, or light Elohim, the shining ones, princes, he brought all the princes as a source of energy, and it shows a dead sheep here. You get it? And there's a chair right here because Lucifer is the one that brought him, so they put a chair there representing he sits in the seat of Elohim, and they built an altar to it. <laughs> uh-huh. And now all those people that just hate me I can understand why, because they're of the world, and I'm the guy showing up with the eternal death decree from the king. The Lord God from heaven is going to take vengeance on every one of his enemies. I'm not doing anything. I'm delivering a message. I'm like, either repent, or what's coming is going to take everybody. Just like Noah said, hey, there's a flood coming. And I can't tell you the amount of pressure that my brain goes through. It's not even describable. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Feel like Amadeus sometime in the movie, Amadeus, uh, where he just starts laughing. Uh, okay, so now let's take a little look. Deputy. Okay, the deputy badge represents, see, right, th these are actually colored the wrong. The red should be up and the blue should be down. Um, but you see the deputy badge right here, right side up, upside down, right side up, upside down. Male, male is up, female is down. That's the system. And if you come into that system, let me show you. Who owns it? Genesis 1. And Elohim said, watch. And Elohim. See, it says Elohim. Gods of, of the supreme God. Angels. I'm going to change this right here color. Okay. Elohim said, let us make man in our image to shade a phantom that is an illusion so man is a phantom an illusion hence a representative figure especially an idol a vain show so elohim said let us make man in our representative figure especially an especially an idol no one can argue with it now let's go to genesis 2 thus the heavens and the earth were finished and all the host look at the word host a mass of persons or figurative things, especially regularly organized for war. So Genesis 1 was to make a mass or a group regularly organized for war. That's what Genesis 1 was. It says it right here. 
And on the seventh day, Elohim ended his work. Deputy Shep. Just like a deputy badge, making the male and female genitalia box, you know, just think of the human host body as a box, uh, one, you know, that houses something. Just think of it as a, as a house. So they make a little house called the human host body. It's got a penis on one and a vagina on the other. And then when the angels come into the system, you get one of those houses, but you're alongside a demon that's attached to the pit. That's how Lucifer will arise above the stars of hell that come into the system. <laughs> so, okay, hang on. Okay, so when Elohim ended his work, he had made. Okay, now watch. Deputy ship, employment, never servile. Okay, so. See that? Who do you think that deputy badge belongs to right there? Well, let me just give you a little hint who it belongs to. He's the deputy of the system called the flesh. There he is. Now, the demon is down, female, and the angel is up. And what happens if we interlocked this with this? This is the guy that runs, that has the deputy badge. And if you die under his care, your soul goes to the eternal abyss and you are assimilated by a race of locusts. That's what it says in Revelation 9. I'll show it to you one more time. Revelation 9, I just think it's so important. that instead of being lazy, because I really don't want to click on them every time I mention one, but... And the shapes of the locusts were like horses prepared unto battle. And they had heads and on their heads, as it were, crowns of gold. Faces as the faces of men, hair like women, teeth like lions. And they had tails with the stings like scorpions. Okay, here it is. And the shapes of the locusts. See the word shapes? A form, a resemblance, a likeness. Ready? To assimilate. What are they assimilating? What are they assimilating? An angel that got trapped in the host body system. Why do you think the Vatican has the guy in the slave collar that's the beast? And all you have to do is turn the guy, which represents the angel in the slave collar, the beast system, and the woman that rides the beast is that connection to the pit that goes everywhere every beast goes. And we are the beast system. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And now the dragon, which is the entity from the pit, the 2X energy, will give his power unto the beast. And that's what's starting to happen in the world right now. The dragon, 2X energy, is giving, that's that female energy, is giving that power to the beast, which is the population. And you can see it. Remember the prophetic utterance? And the sea shall turn terrible before your very eyes. And the terrible one shall be elevated within the sea of humanity, the population. Told you. Oh my gosh. Y'all freaking out yet? <laughs> I am. Uh huh. Okay, here we go. So how do you fix how do you fix this situation? Here's how you fix it right here. Jesus on the cross taking the hit for you because you're the angel that got yoked alongside a demon and you're that there's all these three crosses and represents the system that you're trapped in and you are barabbas i was barabbas son of the father isn't it crazy that the actual son of the father from heaven got crucified on a cross from a guy that's named son of the father it's like, whatever. Okay, if you don't believe the Bible's true just from that, you'd have to be delusional. I mean, there's no way that could be possible. Okay, so there you go. Now let's look at some other pictures. Um, You want to see kind of a crazy... Uh, concept? So David had to go fight Goliath, right? He had five stones, right? He picked up five. So David goes to fight 
one of the Nephilim, so fallen ones, right? So Goliath from God, he was known to be a giant. So David goes and he fights him, but take it out. David has, he has five, so I'll go like this, but here's Roman numeral five. He has five stones. So when he puts one in his slingshot and he starts going above his head, if you use his head as the center point and he's swinging, it's like he's making an eye. Because what's running, what's running, David? The Lord God from above. And he's swinging a rock above his head in a circle. So from an aerial view, he's making an eye like, and then he lets go of it and the eye and the rock goes between his eyes and kills Goliath. Stop and think about that for a second. A rock. <laughs> and he killed him with a bow and arrow. He killed him with a spear. He killed him with a rock right between the eyes. <laughs> so crazy. Uh-huh. Now do you believe the Bible's true? <laughs> How could you not believe it's true? Uh-huh. So, yeah. So, if he's swinging, you know, David's standing in the middle. So, he's got that. Then he's got his hand right about here. So, you have... Center, the hand moving, and then the rock moving, you know, within the slingshot, uh, and then you let go of it and slam, you uh, you kill the other guy that's the other eye. <laughs> that's insane. Okay, now let me show you what's going on with the Da Vinci Code and how that relates to Jonathan Clack, okay, because this is insane. So this is Da Vinci Code. All I did was color the A. Why, why did they put a bar on the A, you know? Because they're showing you male and female, they know. So male and female, that's identical to the side of my truck, like the, the Vlad Eyewear logo, the V with the fangs. And then the other door panel has a right side up. Uh, but then let's look at the parachute the Lord told me to make. Okay, ready? So here's my parachute right here. It's a V and the number four underneath it for vengeance. And then it's V for vengeance the other way. So it's right side up, upside down says V for vengeance, but it makes an X. And you see that nail that holds the cross beam, the nail that holds that cross beam to the to the upright, and this is the upright, and Jesus, in the Acts of Peter, what is, is Christ but the word stretched out? So, here is Jesus on the cross, and you see that spot right there the where the nail would hold that cross beam to the upright? That would be the same point that you pivot, you pivot that to turn to that which is the repentance of man. Just let that let it. Because see, when you turn back to the Lord God and you admit your guilt, you get turned from, you get turned from down to up inside of you. It's a dot, basically, that you rotate on. Do, do. So one turns to the other. Your eyes become single and your whole body's full of light. And that's made evident by the way they use the letter V. Let me see if I can show it to you a few more times. Next level roofing. Next level roofing. 303-350-2424. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Let me show you this one real quick. Uh, here's the Church of Satan. So I'm showing you the condition of the energies inside of you, which are like your eye goes to a dimension. Okay, so you have one that goes up, one that goes down. One's in the shape of a triangle and triangle going up, and one's a triangle going down. Okay, male going up, female energy going down. Okay, but in the Bible, when Jesus was talking to his disciples in Matthew 16, he asked, who do people say that I am? And they all got it wrong. He said, but who do you say that I am? And then Peter said, I say you're the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And then Jesus said, Blessed are you, Simon Bar-Jonah, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my Father who is in heaven, and I will call you Petros, which means little piece of rock. And upon this Petra, 
I will build my church, and I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Well, Jesus was going to be crucified right side up, and he knew Peter would be crucified upside down. So one's a cross right side up, the other's a cross upside down. And then he told him, I'll give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. You put a key in a lock and you turn it and the you turn it upside down, the door opens. Did you know that the Bible says, uh, straight is the gate and hard is the way that leads to life? Do you know what the word straight is the gate means? Let me show you. So Matthew 7, 13, enter ye in at the straight gate. Ready? Straight. Here it is, straight. It's the word is stenos. It's from the base of 27, 2476. It says narrow from obstacles standing close about. Kiss to me to stand, to stand up. See it? Straight is the gate to stand up. That's the only way you get through the gate to go out of here. Do you get it? Straight is the gate. You can't have this. You can't have one standing by the other one. You can't go through the gate. Watch. Let me give an example. Okay, let's say the gate is... The gate is only as wide. Sorry, let's say the gate is only as wide as these two put together. Give it with just a little hair to get through it. Ready? So straight is the gate, and narrow is the way that leads to life. So look. So there's a chasm. You can't get them together. But watch. You turn to stand. So now you standing inside of you. You stood up. The two became one. Straight is the gate. Can you see now that the Bible's resolved? Because this application to all the scriptures resolves all of them. Okay, remember we did the, let's, should we do the up? Blessed is he that readeth this book. Because now everything we've moved over to standing up again. That's what the resurrection means. The Anastasia, the standing up again inside of you. Y'all you, remember your chart? Anna is up. Kata is down. God is up. Satan is down. Life is up. Death is down. So, blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. Blessed is he that readeth it. Anna Hinosko. Anna always means up. See it? Anna. Just remember word number 303. So, Anna means properly up, and it means also severally, like you've been severed away from something. Okay, so ready? So, up, Anna is up, and then Hinosko, which is word number G1097. Let me just make it easier to see. So, 303 and 1097. To know up again, absolutely. See, what I'm showing you is the absolute knowledge of up. And in life, and eternal life, the Holy Grail. Knowing that you are sealed into the day of it. This is the Holy Grail, guys. This is the understanding of all of it. And catching the queen. I'm, I'm stripping her naked right now. She cannot hide from the eyes the Lord gave me. Her twin female party is over. And now the Lord's coming to take vengeance on the energy from the pit. That entity within the host body system. So wherever that entity is within the host body system, the Lord God will take vengeance on that, that entity. It's the other eye from the pit. There it is. So, I mean, Anna... Hinosko, to know up again. Okay, so let's resolve the entire word, the entire system and understand it. So 1 Corinthians, we're doing that right now by knowing which way is up. Okay, so the natural man re cannot receive the things of the Spirit of God because they are foolishness to him. Neither can he know them. See right here? Neither can he know that word right there, 1097. That's Hinosko. Neither can he know them absolutely 
because they are spiritually discerned. The word discerned is ana crino. Word number 350. It's ana right here. Very important word. Ana and then crino. And let me show it to you because this is such an important word. The word ana is up. So I'm having, here we go. Oh, hopefully no. Okay, ana means to examine, investigate, but ana means up as in completing the process. See right here, ana up completing a process, which is us getting converted, which intensifies 29.19, crino to select by separating and judging. So we're being separated through this process by distinguishing down to up a close examination and the process of careful study and evaluation and judgment to examine and, and to investigate. It involves taking crino to its needed conclusion, which is up. See, up is its needed conclusion. It says it right there. Ana up shows the process involved that takes crino, which means separating and judging, up to its needed conclusion. Ana crino. It is the eventuality that must happen in your process of being sanctified and turned into one of Christ's. There it is. It says it right here. And where does it come from? Uh, 1 Corinthians 2, 16. So let's go there real quick. 1 Corinthians 2. We go down to the bottom right here. But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God. See the word Spirit? It's capital, so it's divine, God, Christ, Holy Spirit. Their foolishness to him, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Super, uh, I'm sorry, scrutinized Anna Crino. There it is right there. So Anna Crino, they are spiritually Anna Crino. For who hath known the mind of the Lord? Okay, now think about this. The Bible is telling you that you can know absolutely that you know the mind of the Lord. I mean, what? Yes. But we have the mind of Christ. The word mind of Christ, look at what it means. Because we on a know everything. What, do, what does that mean? We spiritually discern from down to up all things. See, but he that is spiritual judges all things. Look at the word judges. Ana crino, up and then to judge. Yet he himself is judged of no man. For who hath known the mind of the Lord? The word known is hinosko, to know absolutely, that he may instruct him. But we have the mind of Christ. Look at that. The intellect, the mind, the understanding. And it says, he knows go to know absolutely the only way you could know absolutely that you have the mind of Christ is this. It's the only way. That's why it's in everything. That's why it's in everything. All right. Okay. So that female energy is the one from the pit. So let's just do a little thing on that. Let's look at, uh, let's look at, uh, Katy Perry and Gigi Hadid. So there's Katy Perry. Uh, that's an interesting place to have a mouth that's got, I guess, blood dripping off the bottom lip. That's an interesting location to have the all seen eye on your dress. There's Gigi Hadid. She's got the same thing going right here. And she has a devil sequin on her dress. And she's got a sad thing going on down here. And this girl says, hell yes. And the letter E is right where the number five is. Because there's five up. Or there's five down and five up. And she's got the letter E right. A, B, C, D, E. So they like to do the alphanumeric thing. That's why the letter E is right there. Uh -huh. Because they're hunters and they know it. What's running them knows it. Take it out. Omicron. Ayin. You see this guy with his tattoo over his 
In his eye, he's showing you who he serves. Look at the dimension. See right there, a spiraling dimension representing the eye that goes to the pit. And he uh, he's being probably effectively used for his, you know, his group. Proverbs 5, 5, her pudenda goes down to the pit. So there's Miley. She's sticking her tongue out, same as the sheep behind my ear. And then she's got, you know, her metal teeth on her neoprene suit. And I guess she's making a heart, maybe. Or Anyway, so, yeah, looks dangerous. <laughs> it's, I mean, what's the difference between that and that? Is there any real difference? No, there's not. Uh, here you go, Scorpion's album. Scorpion's taken, B-side, get it? Taken, B-side, because... If that's alongside of you within the host body system, uh, lay, uh, sitting in quiet to ambush you, that would be a pretty good way to, you know, exemplify it. So alongside line in ambush and quiet to ambush as a judge. There it is. I mean, this is it. All right. I'm going to take five. My brain is fried. Okay, so there is a ton of scriptures still here. Let, let, you know what? Let's just let's do the Romans 12. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Ana keinosis. And it means to renew up again. So ana is up. Keinosis means like renewing or renovation, up, renewal. So the way you get transformed by the renewing of your mind is you got turned up. And once I got turned up, I mean, the whole world became, they were like, wait a minute, what's going on here? This is nuts. What do you think everybody that was uh, previously in my hemisphere, when I could see everything, do you think that went over well? <laughs> Check out this alien inside Agadon. I gotta go. <laughs> it's like, where's everybody going? <laughs> so crazy. Uh huh. There it is. So the world will spit you out and hate you because you're busting the whole world. That's why the whole world will reject you. Now you know why Lady Gaga at the Oscar Awards, standing there with their elbows pointing out. Representing like a split diamond. See, one one going one way, one going the other way. That's the top of the hendecagram, just right there and right there. And what's it really making? Well, if you look closely, she framed it up to make a hexagon. And then the insect that's on her dress, see the insect? It's right in the center of the hexagon that she's framing up with her hands on her hip. And then she's got a serpent right here on the bottom part of her dress representing she's part of the serpent race that's hunting. And this is what's below ground running things right here. I mean, it, it, guys, look, you're looking at her dress and the exact same agenda as the Vatican. I'm able to easily just draw it in and show it to you. Do you think that's kind of weird? <laughs> Uh-huh. Just trying to pull those other pictures off down there. It's like, okay. Uh, like I said, I'm going to take five and get some eye drops. My eyes are on fire right now. Here we go. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Uh, Anakinosis. The restoration of your sight. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and the recovering of sight to the blind. That's a pretty big deal there. Let's look. It's Anna Blepo. Anna is up, and then Blepo to recover sight. How do you recover your sight? The restoration of the sight to the blind. How do you restore the sight to the blind? You look up, invert the world. You just turn it all upside down. It's always Anna. 
on a kianosis, uh, on a blepo, uh, on a histamine. So, yeah, on a histamine, which is the standing up again. Uh, I'm sorry, on a stasis, forgive me. Yeah, so I am the resurrection. It's the on a stasis, like if you're in a, a stasis, which means like a state of. It's kind of interesting to look up the word stasis just on uh, my phone. It's, it says a state of equilibrium. So a standing up again, state of equilibrium. There you go. Recovery, look, anastasis, the resurrection, a standing up again, a resurrection from death, recovery of spiritual truth, raised to life again. So anastasis, you've been raised to life again within, within you. You've been born again, so now, again, you have your down payment on eternal life. Okay. I keep saying I'm going to take five, and I just keep hitting pause and then keep going, but I've got to get something to drink and something for my eyes. I love you guys. Guys, I already did a video before this and ran into problems twice already, so I'm kind of scared that I don't want anything to happen right now because I'll, I'll do a video like this and the whole thing will go south. So you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to save what I have right now and uh, go to this folder right now because the word is resolved. You got to go to both these folders. Okay, you know one thing I'd really like to do just to show you the gravity of this? Okay, Miley Cyrus had someone make for her a red neoprene suit with teeth where her, her vagina is. Okay. I want to show you a girl that actually uses a 3D printer. She does a diorama, and it's called The Deceit of a Woman. But this girl does the entire art project herself with a 3D printer. It's amazing to see what she put into this, but to know what it is that she's doing. Like, what is a woman exactly? I'm showing you what it is. It's a killer. The thing from the pit is the most serious, cold-blooded, murderous monster you could ever even begin to imagine. And I don't mean if you're a girl and you have a vagina or whatever. I'm talking about the female energy from the pit that set the puppet show trap the dragon that is taking over everything, Lucifer running this system, when when this thing gets out completely and is set loose on all of society, it is beyond the human brain, the comprehension of evil, murderous that's coming. It's beyond our brains. That's why the Bible says, pray that you're accounted worthy to escape all these horrors and, st and stand before the Son of Man. So let me show you this little diorama that this girl does. So, you know, you have Miley Cyrus right here. I'm going to put Marina Abramovic out of the picture. You can go to the folder, but Marina Abramovic's over here. She's holding an M16 uh, in the same kind of disposition that Miley's in. But, I mean, it's just as obvious as it gets. But here's the girl that did the thing called the deceit of a woman, and she she produces this monster thing right here and puts it under water and then has has the top of this thing has a has like a woman attached to it. It's like Miley Cyrus's crotch. But the work that went into this thing is 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 just crazy. So here is the female uh image that she put. But this is what the female really is down here. What's underneath the vein show right here, whatever, whatever, what's underneath the, oh, wow, it's a pretty girl, whatever. What's really underneath it is this. And that is the real truth of it. What 
a, what is a woman really? It's beyond our brain what it is. It's way past beyond our brain. But the Lord is using me to make her naked right now. Thy bow was made quite naked. Here you go. Okay, so check this out. Watch. So I'm just going to fast forward. She's going to draw a bunch of stuff out. And I'm just going to kind of get to it. So I'm going to, I'm just going to increase the speed to play it faster and kind of keep the volume real low. Just watch what goes into this. This is insane, you guys. Okay, so she's just kind of creating her base where she's going to put this thing that she's already uh, come up with a drawing for. So she's getting it ready. Okay. She's making rocks. So now she's going to put some old... Uh, dead wood in it make it look like kind of a swamp she's got her little pieces to choose from i'm going to try and kind of get past some of this rather quickly so she goes through all that she's making it look all kind of swampy she's all into it now here's the thing that she made on her 3d printer this is her own concoction from her own mind and so here you go so think of just take a moment here you go remember matt walsh what is a woman let me tell you something guys it's a fe the whole woman the whole female thing that the lord has had me uncovering since the night i got saved. it was lou that was telling me don't open the door johnny they'll kill us that's what she said i was going to open that door i wanted to find out the spirit was leading me telling me go out the door i wanted to know the truth so badly i was willing to die I, she goes, if you open the door, they'll kill us. And I said, you don't have to go. I have to. I had to know the truth. I was willing to open the door. Okay, so what is a woman? I mean, I mean, from the beginning, neither shall you touch it lest you die. Neither shall you touch, lay with a woman. Isn't it crazy in my personal testimony? As soon as I prayed, our Father and water and light came down on me. Then Michael looked at me. I mean, I was, it was like I just got beamed down to the planet surface. It was beyond something in a sci-fi movie. It was insane. And I was sitting there just, Ugh. and then Michael looks at me and says, no, you said, Hail Mary. And I just was like, why? And I, I was raised Catholic. There'd never be any reason for me to question that ever. And I looked at him and he just nodded like, do it. And then as I said the words, I felt life and light leaving my body, knowing the night I got saved that death somehow came from saying those words, but it was to the virgin. So, you know, here we are all these years later. It's pretty obvious. <laughs> it's like death, uh-huh, 2X energy from the pit. Isn't it crazy that after that happened and I was just standing there in complete stupefaction and Michael says, you look like you need some water. You should probably go to the bus station and get some water. And I just looked at him and went, uh, basically, I will go to the bus station and get some water, BB. And as soon as I started walking, Lou touched me on my shoulder from behind. And when she reached to touch me, I went like this. And I pulled my arm immediately away from her. Like, all she did was like, what's going on? And I pulled my arm like this and I looked at her and I went, don't touch me. I'm walking with the Lord. Don't touch me. I'm walking with the Lord. Don't touch me. What? What a weird thing to say. The new spirit inside of me. Neither shall you touch it lest you die. There's a lot of stuff y'all don't know too that I haven't shared publicly and I never will. But it's one for the, the Lord knows it all, but it's just not for public consumption. Anyway, but it's more to the, everything I said you, told you is exactly right. So anyway, so here you go. This girl is out of her own mind creating this. It's called The Deceit of a Woman.
Okay, so she's painting it up. This looks like, okay, look at that. Did you see what she's painting out of? I want you to just to take a moment. Ready? Look, look at this. I mean, you couldn't even think this up. Look what, look at her jar. Look at the jar. Look at the red star and the blue star. What? She, she set that there on purpose so you could see it. There's a red star and a blue star. <laughs> Told you. Uh-huh. There it is. Watch. Okay, now she's just kind of painting up this spider-looking tick slash how can a man born of a woman be made right with El, the Almighty God? How can a man born of woman be made pure with God? So, now watch what she's doing here. <laughs> okay, so now she's got the woman. She's got a naked woman. She's putting hair on it. She's kind of painting everything up. Uh-huh. I'm thinking about Miley Cyrus right now. I'm thinking about Lady Gaga. I'm thinking about uh, some of the dates I went on. <laughs> ah, get me out of here. Okay, there it is. So look at what she's produced. It's called The Deceit of a Woman. Ready? Okay, I'm going to fast forward a little bit. So here you go. She's uh, kind of getting the top of the water going. Uh-huh. Here we go. Now, there you go. So, the deceit of a woman. Let's just pause that for one second. Okay, there you go. Neither shall you touch it lest you die. What is a woman? Go watch Matt Walsh special uh i think i you can find it on youtube matt walsh documentary what is a woman it's one of the craziest things you'll ever see what is a woman so elohim created man in his own image in the image of elohim created he him male and female created he them and the word female is not good when you look at it in Genesis 1. Well, let me let me just show it to you. We'll come right back to this. Genesis 1. Ready? Genesis 1. So, Elohim. So, right here. Elohim. I'll make it this. So, Elohim created man in his own image. Salem. Representative figure, especially an idol. In the image of Elohim created he, him, himself. Male and female created he them. The word male means uh, properly remembered. That is male as being the most noteworthy sex. And then it says properly to mark so as to be recognized. Okay, now watch this. Male and female. Female from the sexual form, from the root word, to puncture. Uh, what happened to Jesus when he, after he was dead on the cross? They didn't break any bones because that would have broken prophecy. But they pierced his side with a spear to puncture, literally to perforate more or less with violence. To specify, designate, libel, appoint, blaspheme, curse, pierce, strike, through. That's the word for female. To curse and to strike through. That's the word for female. What is a female? Well, from the beginning of, what is a woman? From the beginning of the Bible, that's the first thing we see about a woman. It says female, male and female. And then when you see the word woman in Genesis 3, it says adulteress. 
right here, the first form of the feminine, by the way, the first form is the feminine of H376, which is the bloodthirsty, incurably sick, uh, mortal, watch, fail, feeble, I'm sorry, frail, feeble, melancholy, desperately wicked, incurable, sick, woeful. That comes from the word woman in Genesis 3, right here. It is the first form of the feminine of H376 or 582, which is, I'm sorry, which is this right here. To be fail, feeble, melancholy, desperately wicked, incurable, sick, woeful. That's the, so in the Bible, the first time you see female or the word woman is not a good thing. <laughs> it doesn't look like, hey, it's going to be wonderful. <laughs> uh, but now let's look at this. What's going on here? So this girl thought this up out of her own mind. I'm sorry, I'm trying to zero in on, there we go, right there. The, I mean, does that concern you at all? <laughs> okay, ready? Miley Cyrus. Okay, now, diara deceit of a woman, diorama. Okay, let's do a quick uh, commercial before we do our next uh, diorama. Okay, so remember, what do they? Do? What does the female system do to the males? They invert us. We're the stars. Okay, you know what that kind of star right there is? That's called an isotoxal star. Go look it up. It means becoming basically your own reflection. Now you're gonna hear a woman singing, and it's called Starry Soda. Starry. They're gonna turn it upside down and drink it. Drinking Starry Soda. Listen to the song. Just listen to the song. There you go. So there it is. I mean, it's it manifests so much, it's absurd. All right, Pirates of the Caribbean, here we go. Did you hear what he said? <laughs> he said, Lord, save me. Uh-huh. Um, it's like, uh, do you live around here? <laughs> it's, it's, uh, neither shall, like, the word serpent or basilica, I'm sorry, basilica, legendary serpent that kills with its breath or with its look. Don't stare at her. Look away. <laughs> it's just like, oh, what? Witness. Can you talk? Yes. You're beautiful. Are you the one who sings? Okay, I'm gonna just help everybody. If it seems a little too good to be true, like this is gonna be an okay relationship or something. <laughs> it's like, guys, you're out of the boat, you know. But like, I mean, yeah, she's got a pretty face and all and all that, but I mean, doesn't this seem a little weird? <laughs> Watch out. Come on, come on yourself. 
Yeah, get it together, dude. What are you yeah, doing? It's been given to me in my brief, miserable life. There's a truth in it. But by God, I'll have it said that Scrum had himself a kiss from a proper mate, mate. My heart is pierced by Cupid. Thy heart, did you hear what she's saying? Thy heart is pierced by Cupid, you know, Eros and Psyche, the angel kissing the woman, that's what she's saying. Thy heart is pierced by Cupid. I despise all glitter and gold. Oh, come on, guys. I disdain all glittering gold. There is nothing can console me. This just doesn't seem right. Okay, now look, pay attention. So now she's got him in a different medium. He's in, his head's gone into the water. His head's upside down. She's looking up. He's looking down. She turns into a vampire. I mean, well, whatever. She Teeth come out that shows, obviously, she's the apex predator. Okay, so, yeah, just, we can save a little bit of time if y'all want to go watch that, you can. So, anyway, so, back to the, my point. So, now, all, all joking aside, do you understand that we are in a world where that's real? That what you're, what you're looking at on the screen is actually reality? Not that there's mermaids floating around waiting to jump on your lipo, but that there is an entity and that represents it. The entire system manifests what that entity is. If you go see the new Mission Impossible movie, you'll see it in that. The surprise is you'll never know what the new Mission Impossible movie means unless you understand what happens at the very end where you have to know where the keys go to. If you don't know where they go to and what it really means, you'll never understand the Mission Impossible movie. And I was like, how could anybody understand this out without knowing what I know? I'm serious. I was like, how could you even know it? So anyway... Yes, guys, we are in a world where, I'm sorry, if you don't get converted, you go to eternal damnation. So just to make it real for you before I hang up on this uh, thing, let me just show you the 2020 dating commercial. Look what's on the ceiling where Satan's standing. Look what's on the ceiling. Uh, the interlocking right side up, upside down triangles representing the hive where the locusts are coming out of the pit. Okay, now, I just wanted to show you where they were, because when you watch, when you watch the, uh, the commercial, it'll make sense to you why they're there, and why I put them there. Now, no different than Lady Gaga having a bug on her dress. I mean, imagine this. This is reality. You're in a world where a celebrity, Lady Gaga... She's got a bug on her chest and a serpent on the bottom of her dress because she's really in disguise. She's really that female energy from the pit that I'm exposing. I'm exposing the queen. Okay, here is what is really going on. Here is the exact same, here is the exact same agenda in a 2020 dating commercial. Let's see, is this not working now? Here we go. And I just showed you, they picked a girl that had really sharp canines and then they took her hair and they made the, her hair look like the antenna in front because she's one of the worker bees to destroy God, the, the princes of L. Now let's just watch the commercial. All right. By the way, 11, 
means place of destruction. Do we need to know how long ago it was in the commercial? 11 months ago? It means place of destruction. You're a match. So they're, they, they have a match for Satan and it's an insect. You're a match. Just think about this. The feelings are mutual. So what are you waiting for? I mean, do you, I mean, I don't know. Do you guys really understand what you're looking at? This is a dating app. A, there's really a monster using the host body system hunting for angels within the system. That's what the world is really all about. And the Lord is having me expose her. This is the fulfillment of a prophecy in Isaiah, guys. This is the fulfillment of the abomination. When you see the abomination that causes desolation standing in the holy place. What is that abomination? It's a heterogenetic uh, thing going on within us. It's the other side of the equation. The monster. Here you go. You're a match. It's a bug. It's the same as the... The, the Vatican, the whole altar is exactly this bug's head. Satan? Hi. See, look on the ceiling right here. Look, you guys, do you understand what you're looking at? You see the, you see the deputy uh, badges all up on the ceiling? That would be housing locusts in every single one. Do you get it? Two zero. Two zero. Please. Call me 2020. So where are you from? Who? Me too. Call me or save me. I've been feeling so alone. I keep waiting. For you, but you never come. Is this in my head? I don't know what to think. He knelt to the ground and pulled out a ring and said, Marry me, Juliet. You never have to be alone. I love you, and that's all I really know. I talk to your dad, go pick out a white dress. It's a love story, baby. Just say, I just don't want this year to end. Who would? Okay, I don't, I, I don't think I can take even another five minutes of watching this reality. This is real. The entity that did that knows it's real. While all the, all the while. There's these news programs, whatever, they show you this or they show you that, but no one ever seeks out the truth of the world. Who am I? Why am I here? What am, who am I? I'm a child of the living God that's been converted in Christ, awaiting the second coming of my master to collect that which he purchased on the cross and to be a faithful steward of what he's given me to show others. It is not refutable. It's not refutable. The scriptures bear it out every time now, in every single thing. Okay, guys, I love you in Christ. My eyes are burning, and I'm sorry. The delivery, guys, I have been trying so hard to find a way to just give all these scriptures to you, and it's, it's too overwhelming for my brain. Uh, and then I run into computer problems. I run into production problems. We're under attack here. There's something going on. I mean, there's obviously, you know, someone that's uh, some, yeah. Yeah, there's uh, some kind of an effort to stop this information from getting out to you. And it's crazy to watch it. It's insane. All right, guys. All right, I've got to, I've got to take a break because my eyes are burning so bad. I've just got to stop. Okay, I love you guys in Christ. I don't have my big bear that I can reach right now. But I love you guys, and I will be here as much as I possibly can. Guys, listen, every now and then I tell people, hey, why don't you support the ministry if you can? By the way, for those of y'all that have, thank you. 
we are we are there for other people that have needed us and and uh the bible says as you freely receive freely give and the lord has had me just standing in the gap sometimes and anyway uh so i love you in christ if you can support the ministry if you can't don't worry about it uh we could use your help but it's not that the lord's never let us uh not have what we need we always have what we need so let me show you a way to do that real quick so if you want you can go to uh j click at p.o box oh sorry about that at p.o box nine one two eight one San. sorry about the writing guys antonio my eyes are just burning san antonio texas seven eight eight two oh nine so that's our p.o box j clack p.o box nine one two eight one san antonio texas seven eight two oh nine okay that's the p.o box um or you can if you guys want to do a paypal thing that would be just awesome as well and it's just jk at jonathanclack.com jk at jonathanclegg.com so that's how you can paypal us right there if you want to if you're if you want to help support it just take a little pressure off anyway guys i'm sorry i'm exhausted my eyes are just feel like they're burning i've been staring at the screen for so many days trying to organize all this stuff please 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 go to the folders please put some time into these folders please because I can't deliver everything that's in the folders. I can't. I'd be here for six hours. But if you guys will go look at all the scriptures, they're all in the folders. Let me just show you. Um, if you go to This is the End, the show notes, you go to Special Projects 2, uh, go to the Temporary uh, for Video folder. Uh, this is one of the newest folders. And the scriptures that I'm talking about are all in here. And... Uh, the Da Vinci Code stuff, if you go and you go through this, you'll see more than I delivered tonight. If you, uh, if you go just up through here, you'll see all these other scriptures that maybe you have never seen. Um, like I said, there's just too much to deliver at one sitting, and that's what happens. I, I want to, but it's impossible. I'd be here for six hours. All right. The locust, locust, locust folder as well. Watch. Sorry. Okay, so here's another folder. It's called locust, locust, locust. It has a lot of what the previous folder has in it, but it's a nice way just to follow it in a shorter format. And uh, it will really just open your eyes to the reality that what is a woman. Now, here's the other thing. This has nothing to do with you if you're a female. Nothing. It doesn't have anything to do with you if you're a male. Uh, it has to do with the beginning of the world. Let us create man in our image. The whole thing was a trap. It was a setup. It was an illusion. It was a representative figure, especially an idol. So the woman part of the equation is attached to the pit. Her feet go down to hell. So when you have to describe what is a woman, well, it has to incorporate hell with it. So that's what the Lord's having me take the lid off. She's the avenue to the pit is what it is. Okay. I love you guys in Christ. I'm exhausted. All right. Peace and grace. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys at a party soon. The, the king's coming. I pray that I'm accounted worthy to make it to that party and see you there. I pray that we're all accounted worthy. Always pray that you're accounted worthy. I see some people that just say, oh, I'm going, the Lord's chosen me. Just always pray, like the Bible says, say, I pray I'm accounted worthy. Just don't get like, oh, I'm guaranteed. Don't do it. Uh, the Lord's taught me humility over these years. He's had to bang it into me a few times. So I'm trying just to help you. Just always just remember, let the Lord be the Lord and submit yourself to him. Okay. All right. I love you guys in Christ. Good night.